In this episode, we return to Theater of Blood. Now, I have not been here for a very long time. We have 36 kill count, no purples yet myself, but I have seen three face guards. So hopefully we can change that around. The goal in this video is to get a purple. I don't know if I'll actually get one. I might go dry, but that's the plan. Hopefully I enjoy this more than the last time I was here. I've said it multiple times, but I'm not the biggest fan of raids in general. I find them to be way too long and tedious, but maybe if I commit, I can have some fun. Now, before we actually jump into the raids, I do want to say, uh, last video, I did the 1000 Zalra, and a lot of people were upset that I didn't show the price check, so I just wanted to tell you guys, it is 140 mil. The question has been answered. But yeah, without further ado, let's run up some TOB. There we go, that was uh, kind of tricky, I was not doing well on phase 2, but first TOB back, we survive, I think I did pretty well the whole run, so... Yeah, no purples. That is fine. Uh, 37 KC, I have no idea how much we're going to do this episode, but um, that is a fine drop. 600 blood runes, holy. That's really, really good. Any purples? Oh, we got a purple! Not for me, though, but who is that? Yo! Okay, so it's not Mary J. Oh, it's Vibes! Oh, this is his first raid with us. <laughs> All right, good luck, Vibes. I hope you get the scythe, man. Come on. Chest guard. I think that's probably new. I mean, dude, if it's new, take it, man. Congrats. It's nice to see a purple, though. Uh, that was the third raid of the day. And uh, no deaths yet. I've actually been doing pretty all right. Uh, getting back here. Only died once, but it was a trio, so I'm not super used to these. Uh, 43 raids so far. We're getting there. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for, like, a fourth person. So I guess we could do trios. They're not that bad. I just need to not die to dumb shit. Right, we got a quick elite from Theater of Blood. Can it be anything? No. <laughs> uh, 222, though. Cool number. Yes, that was a no-death trio for the team. Uh, it was kind of rough. <laughs> that soda seg was awful, but it was way better than the raid before. Number 44, we're not talking about it. It was trash, but I'm happy. That was my. I think that might have been my first no-death trio. No. Yes. No? I don't know. Oh, I didn't even see that. We got a purple, and it goes to someone. Uh, it's probably Vibes again? No, it's Rasta, I think. Yo, Rasta man. Wait, whose is it? Yeah, good luck on your purple with a rapier. I don't know if that's new. Is that new? Hey, it's new. Congrats, man. I finally see something that isn't just this year. Let's go. Congrats, Mr. Rasta. One day I'll see a purple of my own. All right, well, I wasn't reading the chat. I guess it wasn't new for Rasta, but I guess he gets a split, so still. Good to see a rapier. Yo, did you see that? Freaking 1,200 XP drop? Halberd? Holy moly, and then I'm dying. <laughs> it didn't kill him! Are you kidding? Dude, what a shit bloat, bro! I'm upsetty spaghetti. Got another elite from Theater of Blood, and it is trash. First TOB of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even talk. First TOB of the day. No purples. But uh, I'm running on no sleep, so these are absolutely atrocious. Oh, good thing I checked. Uh, my whip has 123 more charges. Now, uh, for TOB right now, because I use the tent whip literally every melee room, because uh, I don't have like a rapier or any better upgrade. I think I use like 140, maybe 150 charges per uh, TOB, so I really don't want to risk that. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna break it down and use another whip. Thankfully, we have 13. If you guys forgot, we we're so lucky in whips, so we are fine. But good thing I checked. Safe for another day. Well, I mean, hopefully we do get like uh, a scythe would be probably the best thing because it would um take over whip duties forever. But a rapier would also do like wonders because i could use that on a lot of different rooms and save a lot of charges nice up to 50 kc anything this raid no but going places <laughs> what a drop 100 wine and zamis <laughs> beautiful all right i absolutely shredded i was not missing with this whip the entire verzik that was insane bro <laughs> insane it's not my mvp because i'm competing with sites but i i, I feel like he got to MVP with a death. Oh, bastard. But I was destroying. Like, every single hit with the whip was 350 or higher XP drop. It was nuts. And then my last three halberds were like five, 600 each. Like, oh my lord. 
Yeah, I'm certainly improving. Like, I honestly, throughout today, like, I think we've had, like, two team wipes. Uh, none of them were, like, catastroph catastrophically my fault, thankfully. But uh, I haven't, like, died today um, on my own accord. So that's really good. I'm, I'm definitely improving. I'm, I'm really enjoying this right now. Way more than Chambers. Way more than Chambers. Bro, I just finished a Bloodveld task. I know. I know. The most important clip of the video. No, but seriously, I just wanted to mention that in my, like, off time, I guess, like, my AFK time, instead of doing Redwoods for now, uh, I kind of want to take a break from them, I'm going to be AFKing Slayer tasks or whatever I have at the time to just keep working towards, you know, boss tasks or whatever. And if we do end up getting one, we can, you know, take a break from whatever my main goal is and go do it. Uh, we get a Greater Demon, so there you go. There is the Zami task. That's what I mean. So in the background, I will be doing some Slayer uh, a lot of AFK tasks, like Blood Pelds and shit like that, um, to obtain these beautiful, beautiful boss tasks and get some content under with. I'll be honest, I have no idea when I'm actually going to do this Zami task. It might not even be in this video, because I'm probably still going to be doing TUB, but the idea is there. Okay, so I woke up super early this morning, and I just needed to pass the time before we get into the main activities today. And I decided to do some Volcanic Ash because I was running out and I, I thought, why not just go super hard? And I got 20,000. I, I definitely spent multiple hours here. <laughs> uh, but we should be set on Volcanic Ash for a very, very long time. Uh, I was thinking about jumping back into the farming. Uh, if probably never mentioned it, but I honestly have not been farming like at all since I got the, uh, the pet a couple episodes back. But I kind of want to get back into it. I mean, y'all know, it's like my favorite skill. So I've done a couple herb runs, and I've also been doing some snake grass runs as well, because you never know when you're going to need these. I'm kind of a supply bandit. I just like getting way too many supplies. Uh, more than I'll ever need. Yeah, I never like worrying. <laughs> but with this stack of volcanic ash done, it's time to jump back into Theater of Blood. I have all day. Uh, let's get a purple! First raid of the day. I am competing with three other sides, so I'm never getting any <laughs> most DPS rooms, but that's fine. The raids are super smooth. That was a PB as well. 22 minutes. Jeez. Yeah, the scythe really makes that big of a difference. Oh, what a drop as well. I think that might be one of my first rune ores. Well, there you go. 60 raids. Another personal best as well. You know, at least we get an elite. You always take those. Here we go. Ooh, Master Clue and a Bronze Dragon Mask. I do not know if that's new. Uh, I, mean, I really don't know. I'm assuming no. I'm assuming I already have this, but Master Clue is pretty cool. We're going to continue raiding, though. I'm going to hold on to this. We'll do it uh, after the TUBs today, or if I find any downtime. And no, it was not unique. Feels bad. Another personal best. We were just zooming. That was an incredibly fast Verzik. That's why. 22 minutes. Can we beat that? Finish the master. I, I can't find any teams for TOB. Let's enjoy the master clue for... Ooh, fancy tiara. I don't know if this is new. I hope so. All right, it goes directly in the bank. That's promising. All right, please be new. Yes, it is new. Nice. Master uniques are honestly so not common. <laughs> so I'm always happy when we get one. All right, are we seeing any purples? No, we are not, but... At least we hit the beautiful 69 KC. And here we are at the better number. 73 raids. We are officially, what is it? 27 with no items? Yeah, 27 I haven't seen a purple. Like not even seen anything. Let alone haven't gotten anything. So <laughs> the TV is getting really boring. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, double rune chain, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, 10th raid of the day. So pretty successful. I don't know how much more we're gonna do. I would like to do more. Uh, I'm setting the goal right now at uh, 100 raids or a drop <laughs> is when I'm going to end this video. So hopefully I could reach one of them. Oh, finally a purple. Not in my name, but dude, this was 30 raids. Legitimately 30 raids to see a purple. Let's go. Good luck, uh, Yangsty. Probably butcher in that name, but good luck, dude. I want to see a good item. Come on. No, just this year, please. The Rapier, all right? That's the second Rapier now that I've seen. Back to back, really. But, God, 30 raids for that. Oh, something in my name soon. Can't complain about Rune or I'm using a decent amount of Rune Darts here, so I always appreciate that. Well, this is awkward. So you can see the system updates in 20 minutes, and it, like, popped, like, right when we were, like, just about to start this raid. And then AJ's internet died, so it's just, oh, we can't even do another one. But, uh, I guess this is a decent ending point. It is currently 5 a.m., 
But I want to show you guys my KSC at TOV is uh, 78. We started today with 63. So we've done 15 in a single session. Uh, it was like a 10 hour stream. Pretty happy with that. We're doing pretty good. I am improving so much. Like I, I know it doesn't really show it in the clips because like all you see is like, oh, I did a raid. Oh, I improved, blah, blah, blah. You're only hearing what I'm saying. But just let me tell you, I'm, I'm learning a lot. Every time I go into raid, I learn something new and we're getting there. I think in the last clip I did a, like 15 theater of blood in a single night. It was wild. And then uh, I had some friends come over, so I didn't play this game for like four or five days. So we're going to get back into it. We have, uh, what is it? Theater of Blood. We have 22 more to go, and I would like to finish in the next two or three days. So let's get her done. First run back. Pretty rusty, but I didn't die. <laughs> no deaths that raid. There we are. We see another purple. 83 kill count. I don't know who it is, but I think I'm... I think I'm with all main accounts, so <laughs> it's mainly just for money. Good luck, guys. I think they're all splitting. And he gets a oh, defender. All right. You know, you can't be mad at that. I don't know how expensive those are now, but congrats on the split. No back-to-back. -back. Damn. No, oh, there we go. It's been forever. <laughs> I actually, I probably did record the last Elite. I have no idea when the last one was, but that took forever to get this. So <sighs> I need a break from TOB anyway. We've done uh, eight in a row, thanks to these great people. All right, can the elite clue at least be nice to me? Ooh, nope. Okay, I, I see you, Theater of Blood. Back-to-back -back elites, I see you. Uh, that was raid number 90. I unfortunately died right at the start of P2. Very sad. Sad day. So I held on to this elite because I was completing some raids, but uh, here we go. And we got a master. I had a feeling. <laughs> Every time I do a, an elite, like to end the night, I always get a master. So well, well, well. This this kind of sucks. <laughs> this clue scroll. Uh, Zamorak Godsword. Earlier in this video, I'm pretty sure I got a Zami task, and I haven't done it yet. So I definitely could get a hilt during that, but I'm still working on the Theater of Blood. But I, unless I have a chance of getting another master, there's no hurt in holding on to this. So. I'll be doing that Zami task very, very soon. Probably in the next couple days. So maybe we can get a hilt and finish that clue step. That kind of sucks that we're on hold for now. Definitely motivates me to do the task. As usual, nothing's happening, but we get an elite clue. 96 kill count. Nearing the end. I also need to make a new whip soon. I think um, that's like one or two more TOBs. So that's another whip gone. It's so bad. Another elite. Damn. <laughs> okay. I guess we do get one more before the end. And that was a rune ore drop, too. Love to see it. All right. Can this be better than last one? It certainly cannot. All right. Here we are with the 100th completion of Theater of Blood. Uh, I want to say thank you to a few people that helped me through this grind. Uh, Wet Rex, Nips, and Walrus did so many runs with me, but also Mary J., Rasta, Iron Vibes, uh, and a few others I might be missing. I'm sorry if I didn't say your name, but yeah. What a grind. Absolutely nothing. We haven't seen anything since 84. Let's see if we get a purple. Probably not. Not for me, at least. Is there any other purple? Nope. As expected. Yeah, we haven't seen any since 84, I believe. So kind of a sad way to end, but that's just how it goes. So um, I have like a little bit of a log on screen, as you can see. Uh, it only tracks... It only tracked 58. I, I guess I lost like seven. Um, so yeah, 20 mil on loot. I mean, I think it probably would have been like 24 mil or so if you included the ones that it forgot. Uh, pretty decent loot. I mean, Theater of Blood is very, very good supplies. Um, I didn't get that many Wine of Zamis, though. Kind of sad. <laughs> Even though we didn't get any purples, at least we get to talk to the mysterious stranger. And uh, is, she gonna, is he going to give me the cape? Yes, there you go. The Sinhaza Shroud Tier 1. So I get this beautiful cape, absolutely impeccable for 100 kills. It gets like extra symbols on it when you get more KC, but there you go. I, I guess this starts the road to 2000 KC before for first purple. <laughs> well, anyway, I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to show you guys my log. I don't think I ever mentioned in the video, but like, uh, what is like my priority of drops? I mean, it obviously goes scythe. And then from there, it's really just up to your preference. But I definitely want uh, the order of Scythe, Rapier, Defender, uh, the Saying Staff, and then Justiciar. 
I know I'm rating the rapier really highly. I know a lot of people don't like this weapon. Um, cause once you do get a scythe or the sword, for example, from gauntlet, it doesn't really have that many uses, but where I am right now, having a rapier would be huge. Like I could stop using my, my whip during, you know, bloat, soda sag, et cetera. It'd be a ton more DPS. I know I can just go to gauntlet and, um, get the sword. I actually might do that. I've been thinking about it. Even if I got the sword though, I'm competing with scythes. I would never get the MVP unless the, you know, the planets aligned and I had astronomical DPS, but um, I will say, speaking of DPS, uh, as you notice in the clips, I was using Void the entire time, and that's just because that's what I was used to. Um, I can definitely switch over to the Bando setup, uh, where you, instead of bringing the Melee Void, you bring Bandos as well. So I'll actually have, I think, three less spots for food, which isn't that big of a deal. You actually take less damage with Bandos. And that's another thing that I never mentioned in the video, I probably should have, this ham joint that I got a couple episodes ago. Uh, you might be wondering why the hell I wasn't using it at Nilo, because I said it was such a big upgrade. Turns out, I talked to my friends, it turns out the ham joint is only exceptionally good if A, you're using Bandos, and B, you're relatively tick perfect with you attacking the Nilocus. And me coming back to TOB and I wasn't super comfortable, eh, the whip actually would have been better. But now that I'm going to be switching to Bandos when I go back, I just want to hit the 100kc uh, as like a milestone. Um, I'm actually going to start using this ham joint pretty soon, which I'm kind of excited to use, because if you forgot, it's a three-tick weapon, so it's really, really good on the Nilocus uh, room. But yes, that is it. So in the next video, um, I will be doing the Zami task that I mentioned for the Master Clue, as well as starting a very long-term AFK goal that I will go over in the next video. It'll make more sense. But another thing I will say, uh, I'm going to be starting a new account. So I will say, with that in mind, this Iron Man will sort of go on the back burner. I don't want to quit it. I'm saying that right now. I really still enjoy it. But in terms of the progress, it'll be more background grinds. So um, it'll make more sense in the next video or so. I, I'm glad we made a pretty good attempt at Theater of Blood. But 100 kill count is really nothing to scoff at. That does take a long time. It's just kind of too bad I didn't get anything. But that's fine. There's, our, there's always more time to go back to Theater of Blood. I will say I enjoy it so much more than Chambers. Chambers was not a fun grind for me. It was just soul draining. But this one, I had a good time. I, it was good fun. Aggravating at times, because <laughs> Theater of Blood is kind of aggravating. But it was very, very enjoyable throughout. So Anyway, with that, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you haven't yet, check out my live stream. I'm actually going to be streaming a lot very soon, and you'll see why. But with that, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good day.